when it comes to extracting the hashes on a PC, it's very easy. There are lots of tools that can dump the SAM database and you can get the hashes. But for the Active Directory, it's kind of different. In this video, we'll see how to extract the hashes from the ntds.dit file, which is the database storing all the account information of Active Directory. So if we search for the NTDS, and go here, actually this is the database holding all the account information. If you click on it to open it, for example, in a WordPad, it will not open. If you attempt to copy that and paste it elsewhere, it will refuse because it is being protected. But there is a workaround to get this file using the command from volume shadow copies. So open command prompt and uh, use the command VSS volume shadow copy admin. And click enter to see the parameters that you can use. Actually, we're going to create a shadow. So we will be using VSS admin, then create shadow. Then we will specify the drive for this shadow click enter again you will see that you need to specify a volume for that such as for equals c drive so we're gonna do that forward slash for equals c and column it's a very quick command we will end up having a shadow copy volume name which is that here now we need to copy the ntds.dit file under that shadow volume. So use the command copy, then paste that. So we're gonna navigate to uh, backslash windows, then again backslash ntds and ntds so this is the database that we want to copy we want to move it to a folder that we will create on C drive directly called hacked AD so it will be there and we will call it ntds.dit so for this purpose I need to go here to the root C drive and create this folder go to the command prompt again and press enter the file has been copied just to verify this is the file try to edit it here if you open the file it is as you can see it is encrypted so it is encrypted by a system key so we need to export the system key in order to use it in order to decrypt the NTDS database. So for this purpose, we will go here again and we will save this key using the uh, register command, save. Under HKLM backward slash system. So we'll use, we'll export it to under hack ID sys file. So this has been completed successfully. So this is actually the, the registry key having the registry file having the key that encrypts the uh, NTDS database. Now usually uh, we need to run a tool before going further. This will actually uh, defragment the database. It's an important step to do before going forward. So go here again and use this command then ntds.dit then space forward slash exclamation 102.40 then forward slash 8 then forward slash o so once the defragmentation is completed we have to go to this website uh, you can search for download DS, which is directory services internals. It's a module for PowerShell. It will take you to this website. So you just have to 
go here and download uh, this zip file so let's go to the downloads here you have to right click on that go to properties and unblock the file it's very important to unblock the zip file because PowerShell will not import files from the internet then extract all here just copy this file for DS internals and go to C Windows System 32 Windows PowerShell version 1.0 go to modules and then paste the folder here if you are using PowerShell version 5.0 and above you can install the uh, DS internals module directly from the uh, from the console now open PowerShell and use the following command so we will assign a key variable so key equal get boot key then use system hive path file and provide the path file for the key which is again hacked ad backslash sys so now the key variable holds the sys key now we need to issue this command get active directory db account then we want to get all the accounts under the database we will assign the boot key variable that we have identified before then db path hacked ad ntds dot dit and then press enter this will actually list the details of the active directory database now you can just edit select all and copy and move it to a text file for better visibility now you can see all the details here for example I have uh, an account called domain admin it will give you all the details all the NT hash details the previous NT hash details etc it will actually dump all the information in a readable form from the active directory so you can use this information you can use the caches in this file to perform other attacks using mimikatz for example using mimikatz pass the hash or you can as well use other techniques and tools such as hashcat or uh, rainbow tables in order to guess the passwords.